So they go in, the FBI takes it, here the Department of Defense years later is saying, we want all those papers that you confiscated in 1943 upon Nikola Tesla's death. And then you have just flat out patent confiscation through the national security orders. Look at this, this is 12 years ago, 5,135 inventions seized under national security orders. In 1971 list includes patents for solar voltaic that were subject to restriction because they were more than 20% efficient. The most efficient solar panel you can get right now in 2022 is 22.8%. These were way past that in, how many years is that? 51 years ago. Okay, we're not talking about a, an extraterrestrial spacecraft or anti-gravity or gravity control. We're talking about just a super efficient solar panel. Those are confiscated. This is one of my favorite statements of this report. One may fairly ask if disclosure of such technologies could really have been detrimental to the national security or whether the opposite would be closer to the truth. Yeah, we hear the words vital interests of national security. Well, what we're really talking about there in terms of Iraq, for example, in the early 2000s, which was all trumped up. There were no weapons of mass destruction. That's what was being touted by the media, Sir Judith Miller at the New York Times and others, to justify what we were doing to get rid of Saddam Hussein. But in fact, the only national security implication of that was the oil industries, what, what they get from it. But again, what does national security mean here? Oil, gas, petrodollar, Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan Chase, that's the national security in the abused, corrupt system. It's a, a policy that the military seems to feel is necessary for national security. However, at this point, we often wonder 50 years after World War II and the Cold War, whether uh, such sequestering is necessary, especially when fossil fuels are a major cause of global warming. So here we have a man. He was fired, Dr. Tom Vallone, he's a PhD physicist. He was a patent examiner and he saw these amazing technologies being confiscated. This is not a conspiracy theory. And he blew the whistle, they fired him. You know, because he saw things that would save the planet. Now, this is way back in the 80s or 90s. Patent uh, sequestering, which is actually called secretizing, the uh, public needs to know at least that every major military agency has a representative at the patent office. Patent office in its current approach is it's actually breaking the law. It's trying to make happy the uh, physicists who are with American Physical Society to keep them in power with their ideas, you might say, and withhold from public use good inventions that could solve our problems, like the energy crisis. Boeing had just finished some work on some propulsion system. Boeing had done it for the Air Force, and they finished the job. And then they applied to their customer at the Air Force for permission to use it on Boeing's commercial airlines, and they were denied. An example of the ongoing suppression of, of things that are seem to be innocuous and a slight improvement in, in technology.